Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we're gonna to be doing a seven sexiest hairstyles for men for 2023. So every single year, I do an updated hairstyle video, and since we're nearly halfway through 2023, I rounded up some of the sexiest hairstyles that men are rocking as of late. Take what you need and leave what you don't, but if you're looking for something new to try next time you pay a visit to the barber, hopefully this video will help. Number one is the Leo, named after the iconic Leonardo DiCaprio, of course. Also known as 90s hunk hair. River Phoenix, Keanu Reeves, Johnny Depp, and Brad Pitt all rocked this style at one point, or still do, and I will say this style typically tends to look better on guys who have a bit of a more defined jawline or angular features. It can sometimes round you out a bit, which won't be very complimentary to my guys with rounder faces, so just something to keep in mind. Also best suited for men with medium or thick hair. I think if you're a guy who has very thin, fine hair or you're losing your hair, Growing your hair out tends to make it look a lot worse, a lot more sparse, a lot more thin, which is obviously not the goal. You wanna look like you have more hair. So if you have thin, fine hair or you're losing your hair, do not recommend this one. Some celebrities like to keep a bit of length right at the nape of the neck that sort of sticks out on the sides. And this makes it look a little more natural than some of those super 90s versions that end up kind of looking like a bowl cut. <laughs> um, so the little flip on the end can do you some favors. For this hairstyle specifically, I would recommend using the Forte Texture Powder. I've worked with Forte for over a year now. These products are amazing. A lot of you have purchased off of my recommendation and absolutely love them. So I highly recommend checking out Forte if you have not already. The texture powder is really great for this hairstyle because it's a medium hold. It's gonna be perfect for achieving kind of a trendy, carefree look like the Leo here. This creates thickness and volume and also adds a bit of texture. If you're a guy who's feeling a little bit lazy with your hair, this is a super convenient scoop-free application. If you're a guy with a busy lifestyle, you don't have time to style your hair, you just sprinkle, scrunch, and go. It is that easy. If you're interested in checking out any of the Forte products that I mentioned in this video, I actually have an affiliate link down in the video description and you can use my code Courtney Ryan to get 10% off of your order. Okay, the next hairstyle is the Quiff. If you've been around a while, you know this one is my number one favorite. If you didn't know, well, now you do. The Quiff requires extra length for the hair on top combined with a fade haircut on the sides and the back of the head, or just keeping it a little bit shorter on the sides. I will say this does require a bit of styling, so be prepared for that. The added volume with the Quiff looks fantastic and is a manly yet stylish appearance. And as I mentioned, to achieve that extra volume for this style, you're gonna need it. I would recommend using a styling product like the Forte Styling Cream paired with a blow dryer. The Forte Styling Cream has a touchable light to medium hold. This one's also great for guys with thin or fine hair who might have a little bit of trouble styling, and it adds a lot of volume because it's lightweight. And in addition to using styling products, using a blow dryer is going to make a world of a difference. A lot of you guys are not currently using a blow dryer and wondering why you cannot achieve the look that you want, and it is because you need this. And I really like this one from Forte because it folds up and it's great if you travel, it's super compact. It also comes with different attachments and it's magnetic. Um, so if you want a more controlled look, you use this one here and you just snap it on, it's super easy. And then if you are a guy with curly hair and you need a diffuser, this one just snaps on as well. So I love this blow dryer. Honestly, never thought that I would use the word sexy to describe a blow dryer, but this one takes the cake. So yes, the Quiff is a little bit more high maintenance. You need a blow dryer and a styling product to achieve this look, but it is worth the effort. This is my all time favorite. I love this look on guys and I think it tends to look good on pretty much anybody because it's that short on the sides. It's gonna make you look clean and fresh, but then you have that extra volume on top. that's going to kind of elongate your face a little bit, add that angular structure and just really make things look great. I love the Quiff hairstyle and I know so many other women do too. My next one is the high fade and the low fade. We support all fades here, so I'm mentioning both. I think the fade is a great choice because it creates a clean, sharp look. It includes a gradual transition of hair length from the top to the sides and back of the head. This creates a contrast that emphasizes the hair on top of the head, making it stand out. The fade haircut can be customized with different lengths and styles, hence why we included both the high and low fade here, making it versatile across the board and suitable for many different hair types and face shapes. 
Additionally, if you choose, the fade haircut can be low maintenance because it still looks good as it grows out, especially if you start a little bit shorter. Now, if you're a guy who really likes the super short look and you need to go get it cleaned up every two weeks to keep it looking like that, then it's not so easy to maintain. But if you get it shorter to start and you're okay with it growing out because it still looks good as it grows out, then it's rather low maintenance and it's easy to style, making it a practical choice for many men. Next is the undercut. I like the variety that can happen with this one depending on how short you make the sides and what you decide to do up top. This is a popular men's haircut where the hair on the sides and back of the head are cut very short or shaved, and then the hair on top is left a little bit longer and styled. The transition between the short sides and the longer on top is usually a sharper contrast depending on the length you leave the sides as I mentioned. Now, personally, I don't like when guys do the skin type of look on the side and then it's like long on the top. I know there are so many men who can pull that off. I personally don't like it. You come here for my opinion, I give you my opinion. Um, it's not a look that I typically tend to like. I think it's a little too drastic for me. I like more of a gradual look and I think that's why I like the fade so much, but the undercut can still be done in a very tasteful and flattering way um, if you don't wanna go for like the skin or like bald look. The undercut can also be styled in various ways such as slicked back, messy, or with a side part. It's been a very popular hairstyle for many years and remains a popular choice among men. Next up, we have the Ivy League. This is a fade on each side paired with short hair on the top and a side part. So we're seeing a resurgence with preppy and classic styles in the fashion world. So it's no surprise that the Ivy League style is still so popular. We're seeing that transition with hair and other things as well. And that's because it's classic, it's timeless. This one is never going to go out of style. It's great for the workplace, easy to maintain, and looks great on nearly everyone. If clean cut, professional, and scholarly sound like your vibe, give this one a shot. And FYI, the Ivy League is very similar to the crew cut, but it's a bit longer so that it can be neatly combed over to the side. So that is why I did not include the crew cut on this list, because if you're putting the Ivy League and the crew cut against each other, my vote would go towards the Ivy League. Um, and there is just a slight difference there. And I will also say the hairstyle equivalent to a man wearing a suit would definitely be an Ivy League or a crew cut style. So great choice. Number six is rocking those natural curls or tousled look. Girls love curls. Natural curls are super popular at the moment. My hairstylist actually just told me the last time that I was there that she's had so many men come in for perms to achieve this look, which kind of surprised me. It's very popular. Every time I get on TikTok, I feel like I see a ton of guys rocking this look. And even if you don't necessarily have full-blown curls, a bit of a messy, textured, or tousled look is really great too. This is a hairstyle that embraces the natural texture of curly hair. This style typically involves growing out your hair long enough to allow the curls to form naturally. For this style, I would recommend styling products such as a curl cream, a texture spray, or powder. These can be used to enhance the curls and reduce that frizz. Lastly, we have the slick back style. This is a love it or hate it type of style, but personally, I love it. The slicked back hairstyle is a classic haircut where the hair on top of the head is combed straight back and held in place with styling products such as a pomade. Depending on the products that you use for this, this is going to make or break the look. Something that is too heavy or simply just using too much product can make you look like you dipped your head in a vat of oil. So knowing how to style this one is so important and really making sure you're using good products. So the sides and the back of the head are usually shorter than the hair on top. This one can also be styled in many different ways, which is why I like it so much. You could do a neat and polished look, which is giving Don Draper, love that, or a more relaxed and messy look. It's been a popular men's hairstyle for many decades and continues to be a stylish choice for many men today. To close out the video and give you some insider information here from a woman's perspective, which is why I'm assuming you come here. Anytime I ask women, whether it's in person, whether it's my friend, whether it's on my Instagram story, anytime I ask them, what is your favorite hairstyle for men? 95% of the time, they say short on the sides and longer on the top. So if all else fails, give that a go. But all right, guys, that is all I have for the seven sexiest hairstyles for 2023. Again, this is something that I do every single year. I get a lot of questions from you guys about hairstyles and products. So I thought it would be helpful to highlight some of the products that would be good for each different hairstyle that I mentioned. And of course, if you guys have any questions, you can let me know down in the comments and I will do my best to answer. 
Also, let me know down in the comments what hairstyle you are currently rocking. If you're one of my bald guys out there that doesn't even need a hairstyle video, but you watch this video anyway to support me, I love you and I appreciate you. That is very kind. And let it also be known that there are a lot of women out there who love a bald guy. So if you don't have hair, don't sweat it. If you like this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.